It's that time of year again, hen shed shifting. It gets more aggressive each year you do it. It's been pretty windy at the moment, so I'm just turning it by 90 degrees. The wind's generally going that way, so I've turned it 90 degrees so that that open end isn't facing into the wind, so it's not like a big cup to catch the wind and throw it about. Scratching area was right here. I've just dragged it over there. Just need to scrape back any hen pen that's lying there. Then we can get, there's two boards underneath there that need to come out first. And then we've basically got a tow bar that sits across there to pull the whole shed. So the digger's just over there. Just get it to scrape this back. I did park it here to wash it and I've not got around to it yet. It's pretty caked. Oh, voila, big heap of hen pen. So normally, we go and get the other forklift from yard two, bring it along the road. One forklift lifts it up, the other one drives under, so we can power wash inside with the man cage. Obviously, we've got the digger this year. See if I can lift it up with this. Oh, it's quite heavy. Right, attempt two. Struggling. Don't think it's gonna work. Unfortunately, surprised. It won't do it. It's a shame. Good morning. Ring feeder out for the cows, we'll get some straw into them. Thank you anyone for the comments the other day when we had the dead cow, a lot of people suggesting lack of fibre. So I'm gonna whack the ring feeder out, fill it up with straw and they can punch away at that. They've got their mineral licks. A lot of people also just suggested instead of mineral licks, put magnesium flakes or mineral flakes in the water every morning. Right, straight into it anyway. There's still three calves to catch in here. One, two, and another one somewhere else down the field. Shed progress is probably 30% left of the roof to finish. Thought it was a bit cold this morning. Frosty cold. The joys, hup dog hup. Kev's just heading out with the plough. Hopefully it's dry enough to get going. He's been away this morning to pick up uh, a dung spreader, so I'm going to go and yoke that up. We've got a bit to spread. Kev's going to just plough right in behind us and then hopefully we'll get ploughed and sown in that field. That might be our best chance because the ground is still sodden. But the weather's looking better. Ready for action. Righty ho, let's go. No idea what like this is going to be. Three days since we had the 90 mil of rain in 24 hours, so it won't be bone dry, that's for sure. The man I got in touch with to fix the other tractor to line bore out the holes and put bigger bushes in for the front linkage. It's a cast chassis, so he can't weld to it. He needs to make brackets for it. Long story short, he needs it for a week and we need the tractor again. So what we're gonna do, I'm gonna shim up the hole a wee bit, push this back in, all back together, use it while we get all the sewing done. And then once we're not needing it so much, we'll get it done properly. So we've got a bit of a mix here. We've just shifted the hen pen. Dad's at that this morning, the hen pen from the sheds that's getting shifted. So there's a few stones in that one. So we're gonna put two bucketfuls of hen pen along the floor of the dung spreader, then the rest will be cattle muck. Just so it's a bit more even across the field because the hen pen's way more nutritious than the cattle dung. It's like rocket fuel. Right, we're up and running now. Worked all right. My GoPro's attached to that bucket, so hopefully it doesn't come flying off. Still there. <laughs> Lovely. Kev's just pitched up to get some plowing done, so we're starting at this side. I'll get a wee bit ahead. Well, I've already done up to, you can see the mark right up there. So as long as I'm not throwing anything out the back of that through Kev's window, we're good. Just to cast the Some time in that, our bro mixer wagons arrived just when we're up here with the forklift. We'll need the forklift down at the yard, which is just over there. That's the hen shed that's been shifted. So we moved the wee bit yesterday and the big bit got moved this morning 
I think by the looks of it, Dad's gonna load me up, then disappear off to sort out the mixer wagon. Currently, to my surprise, we have found zero wet holes and pockets and we're not making a mess. Kev's, he's just started, he's just stopped for his lunch. Cloud seems to be going all right. It doesn't look really shiny. When it's shiny, that's a good indication that it's, it's not best conditions. You basically bring up a big clump and it's all bound together and it doesn't crumble apart at all. You get one big shiny sheet. Maybe if I throw enough dung at that pylon, it'll rot the base of it. It'll fall over and then they'll bury the lines and then I won't need to drive round it with the sprayer. What's your opinion on power lines? Should they all be buried? My stone grape's still in one piece. Jackpot. Plough's going lovely. Considering how wet it has been, it's doing a fine job. Smashing. There's a fairly decent field, not too heavy. That's why we've chosen this field as the first one to get to after all this rain. So we'll maybe get a bit of progress. Can ever get ploughing the rest of the day, you'll get a good bulk of this done today swap over and get dunked back out tomorrow jump on a plow we'll start sowing in this field winter barley going in this field we might just hack on and get two plows going either that there might be a pea field which might grub so we might go and do that we'll see we'll figure it out over the next day or two but happy days that load's just about full no messing about full load K2, Duo 1000, I think that means 10 cube, Mark 5, version 5. There you go, Laurie Sun agricultural contracts for all your dung spreading needs. Sit, sit. <laughs> Stay, lie down, lie down, lie down. Baxter, lie down, lie down, lie, lie down, lie down, lie down. Jesus. Hopeless, flipping hopeless. We're getting there, another, I don't know, five, six loads in there maybe. It's getting a wee bit sticky. Those more industrial type tires are pretty bunged up, but they're doing the job fine. A lot of these guys reverting back to the ploughs, buying old ploughs and buying up one pass drills and power harrows and so they can get moving. Their minimum cultivation, minimum tillage techniques are struggling in the weather. I mean, all those guys with the ploughs are there. <laughs> I'm just on the wind up. Whatever works for you, works for you. I don't believe in it personally. Especially in Scotland where weather windows are a lot shorter there's more rain. I think plough is 100% required, specifically in Scotland. Purely looking at it from a financial aspect, I do not see selling the plough as a financially beneficial decision for a farm in Scotland specifically. England, they've got less rainfall, they've got bigger weather windows, longer summer, more daylight hours. Maybe it can work there, I don't know, specifically from where we are in the countryside the plough, in my opinion, remains. Let me know what you think about the plough. It's quite a hot topic. So it's been quite a hot topic for a few years. It gives out so much carbon. It just seems like we're always just round the corner, the corner from a global warming crisis, and we have been for quite a lot of years. But to be fair, weather, weather patterns do seem to be changing. I'm skeptical whether that is the fault of our own as a human race, or whether that is a natural cycle of the ecosystem. If you look back the uh, the temperature records over the past 10,000 years, we're actually at an all-time low temperature-wise on the planet. If you look back 100 years, 
okay, yes, we're warming a wee bit, but maybe I'm just waffling a lot of nonsense. Opinions down below. Do we like the plough? Do we believe in global warming? Are we, uh, are we just conspiracy theorists? You can probably question these things. What you cannot question is cows. Cows kill the planet. What a lot of nonsense. Off for the second last load. We're getting there. We're getting there. There's cows ploughing, nice and neat. Better job than I would make of it anyway. There we have it, smile is gone. Dad's giving it a flatten off for the bucket, just so it's not full of ruts and dries full of ruts. You can probably hear the wind. That'll dry out a fair bit, and by the time the plough gets to it, it'll be a bit firmer. Three or four more bucketfuls, job done. I wish I could put the scent of the hen pen through the camera. It is stinking stuff. Cattle dung, neither here nor there. If anything, cattle dung is quite a nice smell. Familiar smell, probably. The hen pen is. At the end of the day, you're reeking of it. The gate lady won't be happy when I park my boots at the back door. You don't often see a dung spreader that's as clean as that, do you? Almost perfect. There's a tiny wee corner in there that we ended up missing. What do you see, dog? What do you see? Oh. Anyone else with a dog? Have they got marks all around their windows? I've just given it a wash, but... Dad's absolutely gunning it up and down the field to try and clean the tyres. I've given it a quick scrape to get the bulk of the dung that's stuck to it off in the field and then we'll take it down to a bit of grass at the yard and get a quick power wash. Perfect, done. We have a Kamatsu arrived and a dumper just behind me. We're doing a bit of drainage in here, tie in so the new buildings we did or the internals of the old sheds we renewed. We must have finished that about four, five, six months ago. All the downpipes, gutters and whatnot are needing connected in. We've got issues up here with water once it comes onto the tarmac causing a heck of a damage around the yard and it can't cope right now with excess water. So we need to tie in these drains anyway, these down pipes. So we're gonna run a drain from up there all the way down here, around and away in that direction. Whoever's curious, lager update, I need to drop off malt to the brewery on Monday, Thursday today. So we're not far away, things are progressing. I am dead excited, cannot wait. Thank you to everyone for your input. Um, we've decided upon a name. The votes were clearly in favor of Bandit Beer. The votes were clearly in favor of bottles rather than cans. So we're not miles away from getting bottles of Bandit Beer on site. Oi! Let me know down below if you like it. Let's go see a shed update. Hey Pooch, shed update. Ba ba boom, ba ba bang, ba ba bang. You beauty. Uh, so almost all the concrete panels in. They're working away down the roof at the moment. They've got three bays left at the end. Otherwise, job done on the roof. Then I'll shift on to some Yorkshire boarding. This edge is getting Yorkshire boarded. The far end is getting Yorkshire boarded above that rail. There's doors below that. This end is open. That side's open. We get the brunt of the wind coming against that wall and coming against that wall. So we've left this side open. Um, so there's nice aeration. Obviously, it's not fully closed off. It's Yorkshire boarding. Still good aeration through that. We just didn't want it howling with wind through it because it can do up here. I mean, it's not a very windy day and uh, that thing is fleeing around. Look at all that water. No fun. Spud's getting lifted over there. Then it's floor. And then all those gates need to go in. He's just gone to see the pea field, see if it would go and no chance, it's soaking. So we're gonna leave it for at least three days, I think. There's another field to plow, so I might go and try and plow a different field tomorrow. Or see what it's like anyway. One of the plows is shit. One of the plows is sat outside for a wee bit, so it could do with getting shined up anyway. Give it a hurl, see what happens. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Kev's just gonna keep plowing tomorrow and then we'll sow the day after that. Cheers for watching. Let me know what you think about the final label design for Bandit Beer. Here it is. I'm quite happy with it. Tagline, oh you bandit. Oh 
you banned it. If you're not already, please subscribe and like this video on your way out. We'll see you again tomorrow.